Hi all. In this video, I'll discuss about Greco's Mate. It's another classic mating net which every chess player should know, and it's quite interesting. It involves the combination of a bishop and a heavy piece like a rook or a queen to deliver checkmate. It also takes advantage of the g-pawn which cuts off the escape square for the king, as you can see here. Here the g7 pawn prevents black from playing king g7, and the king is in check from the rook on h1, and the bishop on c4 covers the g8 square for the king. So it's checkmate. Have a look at this position. It's white to play. Notice that you can reach the same pattern that we just saw in the previous example. Also notice that in this position, black's rook is eyeing the a1 square. So rook a1 would be mate. So white needs to do something about that. Either he plays something defensive like h3 or g3 to give his king a flight square or he counterattacks. So white's first move if he's trying to counterattack must be a check. With this in mind, white can play bishop c4. This checks the king and the king's only square is h8. Now again, knight f7 doesn't work because after the discovery we are back to square one and this could even lead to a draw. So White instead plays the more powerful move, which is knight g6. Now the king has absolutely no square to go to, since the bishop covers g8 and the knight covers h8. So black has to take on g6, forcing open the h-file. And now, since the h-file is open, white can swing his rook to h3 and its mate. Have a look at this position. It's white to play. Again, white's bishop covers g8, but this time the knight is on a different square. So the knight f7 check fails again. So what is the best option for white? Also keep in mind the fact that a mate threat is the next best option in case you can't inflict a good check. So white can play queen h5. This threatens a mate in one with queen captures h7. So black's only defense is h6. But that still isn't good enough because now the queen gets to go to g6, the hole created due to the pawn push. And again, white threatens a mate in one. So black has to take the knight here. And now, as you see, the h file is open. So white simply plays queen h5 and it's checkmate. The same idea repeats itself. There are just more pieces on the board this time, and it's black to play. Can you find the mate? There's a forced mate in 5. You can pause the video if you need to, and take your time. Anyway, here I'll jump straight into the solution. First, black plays bishop c5. Check. Now, white can play rook f2, but that really doesn't help, because after the bishop captures the rook, king h1, and then queen h4 threatening a mate in one and this looks exactly the same as the previous position we just saw so the same continuation can be applied here if the knight is taken then we have queen h4 mate this is quite an interesting position there's no forced mate this time but as you see white's queen and knight are hanging and it would look like white has to lose one of them. But if you observe, the pressure on f7 is quite tremendous. White can actually play bishop captures f7. Now if rook captures the bishop, then queen captures rook, after which queen captures queen, knight captures queen, and king captures knight. And this results in an almost equal position. So white has no major weaknesses in this position. Another possibility after bishop captures on f7 could be king h8 and that's quite an interesting variation. So let's go through that variation. Now white can play quite an interesting move, queen g3. And the point of this move is that if black's knight takes the queen, 
then white has knight g6 check and if you see the black king is trapped on h8 and it has no place to go to so the knight has to be captured here and after this we have h2 captures knight and this is checkmate here's another similar position it's white to play white starts with bishop c4 check and black's best option here turns out to be to just capture the bishop with his queen because a forced mate would follow if this is not done if black instead plays king h8 then white again has knight g5 threatening a mate in one and as you can see that will be mate shortly and black cannot defend his king in this position black has just played knight captures knight and is now threatening knight captures rook so white's most intuitive reply would be to capture the knight with his pawn straight away but if you keep Greco's pattern in mind you'll notice that you have a much stronger continuation white can play knight e7 check it's a double check so king h8 is forced since it's a double check the king has to move I mean black cannot throw pieces in the path of the bishop he can't play rook f7 to block the check since the knight check is still there so anyway after king h8 we have knight g6 check and again black's only option is to take the knight thereby opening the h file and now white finishes the game in style with h2 captures knight mate